Welcome to Bytes of Code. In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, Repl.it. And we're going to be talking about an IDE, that's Integrated Development Environment. Uh, we're going to use an online IDE uh, called Repl.it. I'll put a link in the description. It's repl.it.com. And Repl.it makes it really easy for us. We don't have to download anything. Uh, we don't have to install anything to get started with writing Python code. We can write Python code almost immediately. The first thing you want to do when you get to the website is sign up and log in. Uh, here the home screen is going to have uh, maybe your past projects, a lot of the projects from the community. But what we want to do is we want to go to the top left to create. Uh, we want to choose a Python template. If it doesn't show up on your list, you can type it, select Python. It's going to auto-generate a title, uh, but in this case, we're going to put our own title. And then create Replit. Now what Replit will do is create an environment for us where we can develop Python and write Python code. Again, you can have other IDEs. You can download them and install Python. That's very popular. Uh, but in this case, just to minimize anything that we need to do or install or download, Replit makes it really easy for us to get started with Python. And almost immediately, we can write Python code. We're going to be using Replit a lot, uh, not just for Python, but also for other different types of languages also. Replit does support all popular languages, and we're going to be using Replit as the area where we develop our code. So even though this is, seems like a kind of a small step, it's important to get started uh, with Replit. Make an account in order that we can use this as a method to train and to learn during the tutorials. Once you have your Replit set up, you'll see that now whenever you go to the home screen, you will be able to see your REPLs. In this case, uh, BOC Python is our REPLit that we're going to be using. And it allows us to very easily jump right back into where we started. Again, this may seem like a, a kind of a short video, but this is going to be a fairly important video because, again, we're going to be using Replit throughout our entire tutorials for the different languages. Well, I appreciate you taking your time uh, watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I will try to respond to every single question that you have. Uh, thank you again and hope to see you at the next video.